colleagues. Again, I am addressing the issue of what is commonly referred to as refundability within this uh, bill. And I think there's some misconception of what refundability means. For example, if any of us go to the store, and let's just use as an example um, Macy's. Let's, let's say we go to Macy's, we purchase a garment, a pair of shoes, we purchase something. And later on, we decide that it's not exactly what we wanted, and we return it to the store, and we get, quote, unquote, a refund, because there was tangible dollars paid originally for that purchase, and we get our money returned. But what we're talking about in this bill, and other bills like it, is not a one-on-one -on -one return. It is not truly a refund. What it amounts to is the fact that there is no money paid, no taxes paid because of credits given this particular entity. They owe no taxes, but they would nevertheless get a check in the mail subsidized by those who are paying taxes. And yes, certainly we addressed the issue before when this matter came to our attention in a previous bill that is the same concept in every single way, same substantively, that perhaps Michigan should offer certain entities special interest checks in the mail just for being here, coming to our state. But even though maybe other states have this kind of generosity, they're not in the particular, particular situation that Michigan is in terms of a recession and in terms of so many of our small and medium-sized businesses right now struggling and having to pay increased taxes through the Michigan business tax as well as the surcharge on that tax and the income tax. So I implore you in good conscience to pass this amendment because it is good tax policy to treat all businesses the same and not provide a check in the mail that they have not in any way paid anything toward.